for the first time since 2011, we have the opportunity to meet and celebrate the return by the United States to France of a major work of art. Once again, the story of this work of art sounds like a thriller. But fortunately, thanks to a collaborative effort between French and American customs, and to the tenacity of many people, including many present here today, this thriller has a happy ending. I, w I just want to say I'm honored to return this fabulous piece of artwork that is so meaningful, not just to your country, but to the world. Uh, but certainly we are returning it to its uh, rightful owners, uh, the government of France. As uh, the Deputy Chief of Mission said, we uh, know about the history of the painting. We know that it was last displayed uh, in 1998 in Munich, uh, when the world last got to see this uh, extraordinary piece, and uh, was sitting in the National Museum of Modern Art in Paris when it was reported stolen. Uh, and now, over a hundred years after its creation, here we are returning it to the government of France. I, this is just a, a, a wonderful privilege for me to be a part of this event. When the, pers when the people sent it, they sent it with, uh, with a description describing it as a, as a handicraft worth about 30 euros. They had a notation on the, on the shipping paperwork indicating that it was for uh, Joyeux Noël, uh, um, perhaps indicating it was supposed to be a, a Christmas gift for someone. Um, as it turns out, uh, of course, it was sent to a special shipping facility that had climate control, which you probably wouldn't do for a 30 euro uh, piece of handiwork. Um, and it was there that the Customs and Border Protection agents uh, opened uh, the package and determined its contents. And fortunately, it was through the cooperation of the French government and the, the, uh, the Museum of Modern Art that we were able to quickly authenticate that.